Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be showing you here this quick uh, little tool that I've been using to create the house, easy house scattering. So the link will be below. It helps to scatter houses, like creating uh, e e an easy way to create a neighborhood. Uh, right now we have just uh, North American house styles, but I will be updating that for uh, South American house style and planting as well, things like that. But for now, Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this little guy that helps me to create a house easily. So easy that I think it's, it's going to be useful for you guys. And I will be that available. I will be putting that available on the road and blender market for a short little price. If you guys are interested, which is the mullion, easy mullion generator, which is this guy in the border. The, the reason why the border is because of some houses in mostly on the North America. Um, and now in South America, it's, it's becoming very common as well. Uh, they are putting borders around the, the outside windows. So if you want to have the border, you have the possibility of having that quickly, easy. And I'm, I will be showing you how to do that. Let's, so let's say you have uh, your geometry here, okay? And you want to add mullions to that. The only thing you have to do is, uh, let me not show the measures. The only thing you have to do here let me remove these measures here. Uh, what is that? I'm using Blender uh, 2.5 or 3.5, so I'm having the edge visible, edge length visible by default, and I just want to remove it because it's not my thing now. Okay. So let's say you have this geometry, a simple geometry divided, okay, and you want to add mullions. The only thing you have to do is select the faces you want to add mullions, separate them, press P and separate them, and then select the face, select the easy mullion generator, and you can go here and copy to select. So now you have your mullions here, okay, and you can do the same thing. Selecting everything, copy, press Shift D, separate, okay. And in this case, I will remove the mullion generator, and I will select the border, copy to select. So now we have the border, and we have the mullion generator. Okay. If you don't want the border, just delete it. And the easy mullion generator, in the easy mullion generator, you have uh, the settings here. It's pretty basic, right? So the frame offset, the frame in and out, the thickness of your out frame, and for the second frame you have the same options here, in, out, thickness, okay? And you have your glass adjustment. So if you want the glass put it more inside, more outside, depending on you, okay? That's all straightforward, easy to go. If you want to uh, play around with the materials of your mullion, uh, you have the settings here, okay? And the border, you can play around with the borders as well, the, with the material. Uh, the material is this guy here, okay? This is the material. And you can play around here. If you go to the material, you can quickly play around it. Okay, let's just leave it the white border. For the mullions, you have these guys here, which is a simple way to modify the material without the need to go to inside the, the mullion generator material. Okay. Hmm. If you want to go, this is the material and you can apply any material as you want. But for now, you can go on your modifier tab and put the saturation so you can get some saturation going on and change the hue as you want. So you see, if you change your hue, here you will see 
that uh, let's see add saturation now you see that you can change the color of your emollients like quickly and play around with the saturation here okay actually the settings is is connected to these moon so for you to make your life easier i would just select these faces this moon and press ctrl g so i would connect it okay and then i would delete this guy if i don't need that anymore but now you have the full control of your saturation here and uh, the value of it okay you can bring the saturation down and you can just have in a white or black bullion easily set it up okay and how to model that how to make something like this it's easy but the only thing you have to do is going and modeling your bullions okay And everything we will model will be pretty much been added. Let's quickly create some uh, interesting moons here. Okay, something like this, something like this. Okay. Um, okay and you can always play around with it as you want okay about that say you want to have panels here and this side what you have to do because if you try to divide here it will be divided all over the place okay so you just need to go your face and split by using Y and you split your face and now you can just add panels here okay your geometry and then in this way you can go and you can even uh, select just this guy let's say this guy here okay and uh, press P so you remove from the main system and now you can like play around with the frame out thickness just for these frames okay you can do any kind of shape that you want and uh, wherever you desire if you want to go less thick for this right so you have uh, tons of possibilities of uh, dealing or in creating your moons all over the place it's so good okay and uh, let's go back and show you some more interesting options. Right now you have this, guys here, okay? And you have the options of uh, having blinds on and off. Those are very simple geometries because keep in mind that these Mullins generator are uh, mostly for, for have been seen from exterior, right? If you have an interior and you have a very close up of your Mullins and uh, you may use this it will be okay it will be nice it will be good however if you have an exterior shot that you have a close-up and uh, you need to really you need really to see details of the blinds and the curtains at this stage now you just have a, a quick blindness generator which is this guy that creates a random blinds all over the your mullions okay inside so you can see here and if you have these two two guys too close each other in parallel that will make cause problems okay so in this case I would advise you to just uh, 
take one of them and separate okay as soon as you separate uh, it kind of uh, fix the problem okay and if you want to have uh, if you want to have different uh, kind of disposition for the blinds uh, you can always uh, separate more like these two guys you can separate more so the blinds will be based on each of them the randomization will be based on each of them like let's say let's separate these two okay so we have your blinds more random okay and uh, we have this other options which are fake interiors okay the fake interiors will basically cast uh, fake interiors on your on your blinds these fake interiors keep in mind that it's mostly for exteriors when you don't need to have very much details inside but also you need to like kind of fake there is something going on inside Okay, and uh, that's it. If you want to, for example, you see there's a problem here, use the interior scoot off. Okay, interior scoot off all over the place. So it basically fix this issue. Okay, and if you go to your render, you see that what this does it's basically creating some uh, random uh, interiors for you okay and those random interiors it may work for some scenes okay when you want to see there is something going on inside but you can you cannot really see or tell what is going on okay and as soon as you cut it out you may have uh, you may have some difference on uh, where it's it's displaying on inside what how the interiors are displaying on inside so if you have a way of not having these guys the interiors cutting on and off being shown okay like this for example I prefer more having something like this because even it's easier to edit because the other way is a boolean operation so it becomes slower to edit your booleans when you have the fixed interiors on and off and yeah in this case unless you really need that So then you see you have some uh, pretty random fake interiors and it can it can be very useful for lots of situations okay and uh, that's it that's pretty much it I hope you guys like it I will try to having more uh, more uh, updates on this kind of making the system works better but for now the way it is I think I think it's very useful for lots of people on uh, kind of quickly creating some uh, mullions right and that's that's pretty pretty handy I would separate this guy just to show you for example the possibilities of uh, let's let's put uh, maybe a Suzanne here Okay. and this this is applied to everything okay let's say we have this Suzanne here and we take this guy connect here so we have a complete boolean uh, generated Suzanne okay and uh, that's very useful okay that's uh, not how you would use it but 
it, it, you can see how easy it is to create those uh, pattern of moons and use it all over the place okay I hope you guys like it and uh, if you like my channel I will be showing you more and more tools and sometimes tutorials sometimes tutorials between uh, the, from who wants to trust it from 3D Max to uh, Blender and I will be showing you that eventually and yeah that's pretty much it if you like it thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down if you want to subscribe to follow what's going on just subscribe the channel and yeah you will you, uh, find the link below for these two if you think it's useful just help me to keep going on that and see you soon bye bye